Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 310. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 307 to 315. Hey, in this video, we want to see how to use date criteria for D functions. D functions are database functions. D sum, D max. Now, um, there's lots of ways to do adding or maximum or some of the other D functions. Uh, with lots of other formulas. But if you can and you have your data set up as a database, field names at the top, records in rows, then the D functions, D sum and D max, for example, are very fast calculating. And so for large spreadsheets are really important. Now I have a couple of notes over here for um, some D functions. And not only that, but I have a um, website link up here. C. Pearson, one of the smartest Excel guys around, has some amazing facts about D functions at that website. All right, let's see how to do this. Um, and unlike s setting up criteria for some other functions, uh, the D function will <laughs> allow you to do this, right? Greater than or equal to and actually type out the date with slashes and everything. Uh, some other functions will um, interpret this as division. And so you have to give it a serial number. But for us, for D functions, you can type your criteria in just like this. Now, to use a D function, you have to have the field names. And I've listed the field name twice. That's date. And they've got to be spelled exactly the same. And then you put your criteria below. The D function will be asked to, uh, for you to highlight for criteria this whole range. Let's see how this works. Equals D sum. And it needs the database, the whole database. So I'm going to click here, Control Shift Down Arrow, F4, just because I want the screen to jump back up. Uh, and then it wants a comma, and then the field name. That's the name of the field you're going to add. I put it right here, so I'm going to click there. Comma, and then the criteria. That's where you have the field names, and below it, your criteria. This is an AND criteria because we have it listed on the same uh, row. Close parentheses and enter. So there it is. We've added the sales between these dates. Let's do D max equals D max. The whole database, control shift down arrow, F4, 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 comma, field name is sales, comma, and our uh, criteria. Close parentheses and enter. So there we found the max and the sum. And that is a D sum date criteria. We'll see you next trick.